Alright, so up to this point, I've made a video about the pre-classic, classic, and inf dev versions of Minecraft, but there's a version that lies in between these three that I haven't covered that much in a dedicated video yet, which is indev. Minecraft indev is the pre-alpha version of Minecraft that came in between classic Minecraft and infinite development Minecraft. This version of the game much more closely resembles classic mode, much like inf dev much more closely resembles Minecraft alpha. A fair amount of features were added into Minecraft during this period of development, so let's go ahead and let's check it out. So, Minecraft InDev, the era of the game that introduced crafting, the title screen, farming, armor, day-night cycles, and so much more. In total, I have three versions of Minecraft InDev on hand, the January 30th, February 4th, and February 23rd iterations of the game. And I want to thank Zelenator, the same guy who got me to pay attention to this bizarre chunk glitch for sending some InDev versions to me that I was missing. Also, I want to note that Minecraft 0.31 and InDev versions of the game are both InDev by definition. Notch made the change from 0.31 to InDev during InDev's development period. It's weird, I know, but let's get into it. Between the very last version of Minecraft Classic 0.30 and the first iteration of InDev 0.31 that I have, a lot was added into Minecraft. Previously, you would hit B to open up an inventory of blocks that you could freely build with. But on January 29th, 2010, Minecraft introduced its most significant feature ever, which is crafting, which makes sense because it's in the title of the game. Also, this version and the next version are the only two of InDev that I have that contain the old MD3 model characters known as Beast Boy, Black Steve, and Rana. So if you ever wanted to punch them or set them on fire, these are the versions to do it in. These are also the versions that added iron and gold ingots and blocks, diamond ores, blocks and items, sticks, bowls, mushroom stew, bows, torches, tools, TNT, chests, signs, bookshelves, and so many more features. I'll be sure to link the full version history for InDev if you're curious. After the February 4th update of InDev comes the February 23rd update, which was the very last version of InDev before Infinite Development started just four days later, and my video all about InfDev can be found above. In this version of InDev, however, a lot of work was done to hostile mobs to make them feel much like they feel like today, mostly changing up their drop table so they dropped all of the same items that we're familiar with now. The day-night cycle was added on February 12th, the difficulty slider on February 5th, craftable armor on the 18th, along with so many other features. Throughout the development of InDev as well, Notch was really playing around with various world generation settings, allowing players to generate all sorts of world types, shapes, sizes, and themes, my favorite of which has to be floating, deep, huge, paradise-style worlds. I mean, seriously, just look at how awesome that looks. Alright, as far as the pre-alpha versions of Minecraft are concerned, I think that just about covers my sort of mini saga of videos on this topic. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is AntVenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.